Hello everybody and welcome to Blitz Pit 6 Preview. Um, this is, this is, these are all the teams, they're all in Blood Bowl 2 now. It's on this coming weekend, of Saturday and Sunday, the 6th and 7th of June. And uh, hello, good day, Nick. Right, so yeah, let's have a look. Uh, this is the draw. So we've got Dials Dwarves versus Bright's Woodies. Let's have a look at these two. Is that the way to do it? I don't know, it's the way I'm going to do it. All right. Um, Dials Dwarves. There are no dice. Classic. Classic Dio. Um, he's mixed up his team. He's gone for the. Uh, he's gone for the <laughs> amateur hour. Um, <laughs> not con unconcerned uh, <laughs> thing of jumbling up his players. Um, it's kind. Of, you know, it's it's done a good job because it's kind of annoying to look at for me now. He's got two rookie runners. He's got a rookie troll slayer. He's got two guard blitzers, and then he's got one, two, three guard long beards and a mighty blow long beard. Um, it's all right, isn't it? Maybe he could have had a defended runner. Maybe he could have put block on a runner. Um, I'm not sure about having a troll slayer if you're not going to have a mighty blow on him. I quite like having the mighty blow tackler. Um, I don't know. It is what it is, isn't it? Twelve players, three rerolls. Apple. It's really durable for the. Uh, the overtime format that is um, that is, you know, blitz pit. The the the, uh, the overtime is different. Um, does make it different to just normal tabletop. Brights Wood Elves. All right here we are. Um, he has got two rerolls, no apple. This is why I didn't go woodies. There's a couple of reasons I didn't go woodies. <laughs> One was I didn't know what to do with all the skills. Six skills. I went strip, tackle, leader, wrestle, wrestle, and then I'm like, oh, I'm out of skills now because you want two crap guys to stand on the LOS with a tree. I'm like, do I really want to give Gar to the tree? So he's he's actually not gone for two wrestles, only one wrestle, and a sure hands and a block. Um, I'm not really a fan of that, and I think he's going to really struggle against 12 dwarves um, with a Apo, you know, an overtime format. But can always, you know, they can always conquer, can't they, Woodies? Um, it's not crazy. Right, then, uh, there, so I, I, I'm tipping Dio to win that one. Then we've got Crucifer with Chorfs versus Regor with Humans. Okay. Cruce. The legend Cruce, after winning loads and loads of CCLs. Uh, he's gone all blue heads, so you know he knows what he's doing. He has got a minnow, which to be fair means that he's got less hobs on the field, right? And it's not. I, I don't think it's terrible. A lot of people shit on the minnow, and like, yes, he's strictly worse than the than the chaos minnow on a in a vacuum. But he's not in a vacuum. He's on a he's on he's in a chaff team that is starved for strength compared to a you know and, and doesn't have claw or mighty blow to do blitzers with and I mean this situation's got mighty blow you know what I mean. They don't have a natural blitzer whereas Chaos has an entire team full of them. Um one, two, three, four, five <laughs> Hello, I'm Ginger Wolf. Right, five guards, a sure hands. I'm not really a fan of the sure hands bull, but there you go. Um and then a guard bull. I mean he's really gone heavy guard. Um yeah, I mean he's got the apple two rerolls. It is only eleven men though. It's uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not really I'm never really a fan of chaffs in this environment to be honest. Um, I just feel like they're not low enough tiers to get enough skills to make them a good choice. I find that I I never kind of consider them a good choice. Like obviously they can win games. Like they're not they're not terrible, but um, you know I just. I just think they're somewhat lacking compared to what they cut off. So here's Rego, twelve men, three rerolls apple, so pretty standard. It's the this is the pretty much the standard build, I guess, right? Um, four blitzers, Olga, um, two catches, throw it seems pretty reasonable. He has gone accurate, um, which is a choice, isn't it? Uh, I would have just gone block personally to have a block sure hands guy to carry against Wood Elves, but never mind. Couple of blodged catches. Um, I don't know. Um, and then he's got a block, put, put block on there. Fair enough. Couple of guards. Uh, the tackle the mighty blow. That's what I don't like. A lot of people do this. 
the the roster was standard air dev the roster the the team the team build was standard the skills not standard no um <laughs> no um and what i don't like about this is a lot of people do this they have a tackler and a mighty blower and then what that you obviously usually want your tackler to be the mighty blower right so you can hit a dancer with mighty blow or a gutter with mighty blow so it's kind of a bit shit having tackle on one and mighty blow on the other. But I mean, that's kind of inevitable, especially when you've got the mighty blow guy to blitz. You've got the ogre to attrition blitz anyway. So I would have rather just had three guards, I guess. Um, and yeah, I would have definitely taken block on the throw. But the roster itself was standard, I thought, with the three rerolls, you know. Um, right. And now, yeah, I mean, you could have obviously could have put guard on the ogre and guard on the catcher as well. So my picks, I don't know, I, I, I don't really like the, the, as much as I don't like the Chaos team, I don't know who Regor is, I know Crucifer's good, um, so I'm going to I'm gonna pick Crucifer there, there you go. Right, now I've got Colian and his Necros versus Jimmy Fantastic and his Dark Elves, well, oh, there's only one winner here, isn't there? Um, <laughs> right, so let's have a look first of all of the best... Uh, <laughs> the best coach who's ever lived no not really um i did pick the right roster which is quite good um just randomly what happened was i was gonna go wood elves and then the last second i changed to dark elves made this team up on a whim and it's the roster that kfog has, has perfected over hundreds of tabletop uh, dark elf games so that's hilarious that i just randomly looked into it i literally put about 10 minutes thought into this and <laughs> came up with the build that K Fog, as I say, is perfected, so yeah, it is what it is, you know, loads of dodge and block and wrestle and an apple. I thought the armor and the extra skill and the armor and the apple is gonna be, you know, gonna make Dark Elves a bit better, isn't it? Um, than they would normally be compared normally I go for woodies. But I, I kinda like that. Um for some reason. Where are where are the necro here? Um, yeah, so here's Colian. He's gone. Uh, he's gone two guard fleshies, a mighty blow wolf, mighty blow white, tackle white. I, I think this is a bit too much kill, right? Because he wants to, you know, he's got the mighty. I don't know. It seems quite killy to have three guys. Maybe another guard might have been more useful. Uh, he's got the dirty player, twelve men, and uh, three re rolls. A sure hands and a block. I guess it's kind of pretty standard. The only thing is he's only got one wolf. Um, normally they have two wolves, so I guess he's got a bit more other stuff in this. Um, but I, I, I kind of fancy my chances, but um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It feels crazy to not have another wolf. And also the mighty blow isn't as good as you'd think. Uh, I remember... I remember um, oh, someone really good, Malmir, um, taking Mighty Blow on his wolf and just wishing he had block. Because he just, I think he had a block wolf and a Mighty Blow wolf and he just blitzed the block wolf all the time because <laughs> he just wanted to be reliable. So, yeah, that 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 sounds much better, Adev, yeah. Um, so, hopefully this doesn't work out for him and I get to beat him. <laughs> um, but let, let's pick Colin winning anyway because I tend to do shit in Blitz Pit. Right, now I've got Shattered Ice with Dark Elves versus Wolfbark with Undead. Right, so where's Shattered Ice? Dark Elves seem quite popular here, don't they? I've seen three already. So he has gone double wrestle and a leader. Um, still got two rerolls and an apple. So essentially the same the same build as myself and Kfog, but he's gone wrestle over block, which is fine, isn't it? And uh, and leader instead of dodge, which is also fine. So they're elves, dark elves. They're a good, they're a good team. Um, and he's up against Wolfbark with Undead. Oh, they're very bright, them aren't they? Lovely. Losing to Elf Meta, and he's gone. Three guards. He's got the frenzy, so that it's. I like. I kind of like the the frenzy kind of hedge um, against. Like not facing elves, right? Because if you if you have a, a lot of, lots of players of taking a tackler, if you take frenzy, it's like a crap tackle. But also, when people have dodge, it's a bit like a crap tackle, a little worse tackle. 
but it means you've got frenzy, like you know, it's not dead. Tackles dead if they don't have dodges, isn't it? and this is never dead. So I, I do like the frenzy, honestly. Um, wrestle block, no sure hands. Thirteen men though, and three re rolls. So it, it's it's pretty safe, isn't it? What? <laughs> Shoe on head. Bloody hell! <laughs> Thank you very very much, Noalius. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that was very very random and unexpected, but <laughs> that does top BZL's news. I don't know what BZL's news was, but that tops it by a lot. Thank you very very much, Noali. It's absolutely glorious. <laughs> wow. So. <laughs> um, yeah, Wolfbag says he hasn't got tackle. He could lose, but I do like the players for overtime. But let's go Shatter Dice for winning that one. Oh, God, that means it's not going to be easy in my second game. This is double elimination, so while there's only the top half of the bracket here, it, you know, the, there's a loser's bracket as well. And I should maybe do a, a video to explain how that works in case people don't know how it works. Um, but not going to do that now. <laughs> right. Then we've got Random Boys Kemri versus Rick Reckless's Kemri. Glorious. Um, I will put I will put my shoe on my head at some point, but probably off stream. No, alias. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this tide does need building up. Yeah. So Rael, no. Let, let's just look at random boys first. Blood Bowl at its finest. He's got a Kemri team. He's got four guards. Again, see a tackler. Everyone's got a tackler, um, and that's going to be wasted against uh, Kemri, you would think, isn't it? Uh, mighty Blow Dude, a Block Thrower, a Dodge Thrower. Um, I mean, okay. The build's got to be standard, hasn't it? 12 men. Three rerolls. I'm not sure about the skills, but I mean, it doesn't, doesn't strike you as anything weird, does it? It's pretty standard, you would think. I mean, anyone can argue about any skills, but that's fine, isn't it, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he's up against Rick's Camry, and Rick's Camry have 300k in the bank. That's because they, <laughs> they are getting a master chef. He has got zero rerolls. He's got a block. Three guys. Glorious. Yeah, I guess a block two guys. No, I won't it? give in. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> So many pregnancies. Glorious. Seven and a half. Thank you very, very much for staying fantastic or Narnia on uh, Team Jimmy Fantastic Racing or whatever it's going to be. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much. Um, and he's gone three guards. He's only got one Blitzra. He's got Mighty Blow. He's got a dirty player. He's got 12 men still. He's only got one thrower. He's gone leader to give him one reroll. And then he's got you know, between one up between one and four re-rolls. And uh yeah, he's got you know, Chef he could potentially get three re-rolls off his opponent. Um I think it's a terrible, terrible, terrible build. <laughs> I don't know if I put enough terribles in there, but I think this build is way better. <laughs> and, and uh yeah, I, <laughs> I don't like I don't like this at all. Um, I, <laughs> I think it's funny, and credit to Rick for doing something different. Um, but I don't like it. But you know, it may well work for him. You know, if it, if anyone's going to make it work for them, it's going to be Rick, isn't it? So there you go. Um, but obviously, I'm going to pick Random Boy to beat him. Um, <laughs> now we've got Vigente with Woodies and K Fog with Dark Elves. So. Kfog has gone for exactly the same Dark Elf build as me in both in both uh, team and skills. And obviously he's played a million times as much Dark Elves as me. So he's going to do better than me for sure. Um, <laughs> he's up against Vigente. Who's got a stripper attacker, you know, a leader. Uh, the, these three were kind of standard and then the two wrestles. So this is pretty much exactly what I would have taken. He has gone with a reroll in the apple, and the extra skill he's gone block on a catcher, which that really didn't excite me at all. Um, 
very good no alleys. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I've, I would have thought maybe uh, sidestep on the catcher. I was thinking sidestep on the catcher, honestly, um, for thinking, uh, for making the one turn easier. So, uh, yeah, block block lino. I would have rather had a block lino for sure. But I was thinking of sidestep. I was considering sidestep. I think, uh, yeah, I think dodge would have been the choice on the lino. But yeah, I thought sidestep to make the one turner easier. Uh, but you know, Vigent is a good player and he could he could pull it out the bag. But uh, yeah, K Fog's pedigree is is second to none really. So you've got to you've got to back K Fog in all these games. Um, I think now we've got Purple Chest with Dwarves versus Shawnee with Undead. That is amazing, isn't it? That's like the old guard versus the young buck. <laughs> That's great. Um, and I believe Purple Chest is the defending champion, isn't he? I believe so. Uh, with boring, boring dwarves. And again, he's gone for the skillless troll. Um, three rerolls, Apo, 12 dwarves. I mean, very durable with the overtime format. Um, block on his runner, standard. Guards, mighty blow. I mean, this is about as standard as it gets, isn't it? From PC there. So. Good for him. Um, and he is up against Shawnee. Shawnee, where is he? Big up Ank Nation. There you go. And then <laughs> he's got W. <laughs> Wank Nation. Brilliant. Right. And he's gone some guards, a guard, a tackle again on the white. I do like I do like the frenzy. I do like the chi I do like the choice that and um, Wolfbart made of the frenzy over the tackle, to be honest. Um, he's got 12 players, three rerolls. I mean, that's kind of good for overtime, isn't it? Four ghouls, a wrestler. I don't really like the wrestler so much, personally. And a sure hands are, Um I don't know, I think, and again, the, the tackle's wasted, isn't it? See, this is the thing, the tackle's wasted against, uh, against PC's dwarves. I think PC's got the better team. He's got two defenseless ghouls. He's got four ghouls for PC to try and get hits on. He's got an armor seven skeleton as well as a reserve. I do feel like, um, I do feel like dwarves are favoured here, and you know, but PC's great and Shawnee's great, so it'll be it'll be a it'll be an in, very interesting game to watch for sure. And then we've got Andre's humans versus Elyod's Amazons. Very interesting. So, I'm pretty sure that Elliot's Amazons has Roxana, right? Because it's Roxy Reliance. <laughs> and he's got the leader throw it to give him two re-rolls. He's only got 11 line women plus an apple, four guards, a wrestler. So, you know, it, it's he put wrestle on a line or... I guess he could have put block or wrestle on the catcher, but if he wants to catch, he doesn't really want wrestle. So I guess it makes sense to put the wrestle on the line, or doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's a pretty, I guess, standard Roxana build. So he does have the star player Roxana Darknail, which you can't really show. Um, but she's movement eight. Is she movement eight? I think she is. Um, edge five, Juggernaut, um, Leap. Witch elf, so she's pretty. She's pretty bloody good. Um, so, super standard Roxy zones. There you go. Look at that. I was totally right. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> God, I'm good. <laughs> I've forgotten who he's playing though. El Elliot Amazon versus Andre's humans. Right. There's Andre's humans. And he's gone again. Block, uh, block on the ogre, but he has gone um, three guards, which does make sense. I feel when you've got the mighty blow on the ogre, block on the thrower, and then a block and a wrestle on the catcher. So yeah, if if I had done it, to be honest, I would have gone guard on the ogre and guard on one of the catchers, personally, um, and gone loads of guard. But the, you know, a lot of people like the block ogre. A lot of people like that. Um, you know, the reliable big guy punches. And it does mean that you get kind of reliable mighty blow hits. Um, so it's not terrible by any means. 12 players, I put three out, rerolls, I put pretty set up for overtime. So that's a pretty good team as well. So, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I would say I'll say I'll pick Purple Chest winning his one, and uh, you know maybe Z I guess Elliot because Roxana is pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know. Do I, humans seem quite good because they're quite fast, aren't they? And Amazons are pretty slow. So let's say uh, the top bracket. Let's put Dio through out of the top four teams, and out of the next four, let's put oof, Corlian, so I don't have to pick myself. <laughs> and then um, K Fog, and then PC. PC will love to fight uh, Amazon's won't he? That'll be great for him. So then it'll be PC against K Fog. That'll be an epic match, um, which will be pretty tricky for K Fog with all of his dodge. So maybe PC, maybe PC on for the repeat again. Um, Colian versus. Did I pick Dio out of the top four? Yeah, probably. Colian versus Dio. In fact, I don't. I don't think whoever wins out of all. I think that my bracket is the hardest one to choose, to be honest, because I don't feel like. I feel my game versus Colian is going to be pretty close, and I also feel like Shattered Ice and Wolfbark is. I think all four of these are going to be pretty close um, matches. So pretty hard to call, but I think they'll all crumble to Dio's dwarves, and then uh, it'll be a dwarf mirror <laughs> in the semi-final. <laughs> which, uh, which, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Purple Chest the favorite. I made him the favorite in the fifth one, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make him the favorite in the sixth one as well. Which is fair enough, isn't it? I guess he's kind of earned it. So there you go. Right, that is that is the Blitzpick preview and. Uh, it's on this coming weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.